Chris and um, Nicole. And like I said, this is Get Back Week, y'all. We're talking about how um, the couples are jousting back and forth and getting back with each other. And you say, well, what were you talking about with uh, Chris and Nicole? How was there a get back here? Well, let me tell you, it's a positive spin on it because that's what these two do. But let me tell you what these two, they like to outdo each other with the sad stories. The get back is, you think you got a sad story? I got a bigger one. <laughs> and Chris wins. Uh, Chris wins. You know, because Nicole is used to having all the sad stories. You can tell. Nicole was used to being the one coming into relationships and having all the sad stories about all her past relationships. How she was treated poorly. How the men she went out with were trash. What they did. What they said to her. So she's used to that position. So she likes to come in here and have her sad stories. And then Chris comes along and says, I know I got a bigger one. <laughs> Every time Nicole has a sad story, uh, Chris follows up with an even bigger one saying, I got a bigger one than you. And here it is. But what I like about their, their stories is in all the other couples I talk about, if you watch their videos, they're using their stories, their get back stories to tear down their mates and talk about how something else they liked, they liked it better, okay? That's what they're talking about. Something else they liked, they liked it better. But what Chris and Nicole are doing is they're recounting their sad stories and they're saying all that stuff in the, in the past, I like you better. So they're elevating their partner and they're putting down their exes. But in these other, other couples, what they're doing is they're elevating their exes and putting down their spouse. So Nicole and Chris's get back is actually being done in a positive way because they're saying, uh, you think your mate was bad? Uh, let me tell you about my mate. <laughs> and it's actually making each other feel better. Telling stories about a past relationship with them is actually making their mates feel better. Whereas the other couples, they're telling stories about their past mates and it's actually making their spouses feel worse. Nicole's over here talking about how sex was meaningless with her boyfriend and about how, um, you know, they, they, you know, something about she felt like she was just a body. It wasn't personal to her. And uh, Chris Boyle's back said, well, I, I was with a woman for a year and a half and we only had sex three times. Nicole's like, dang, I can't win. I can't win. A one for, one for, another one for Chris. Another one for Chris. And Nicole comes back and says, well, yeah. And then this other relationship, we did have a lot of sex, but it was meaningless. And then Chris comes back and says, he said, me too. I had another one like that too, but it was meaningless as well. And it was just to cover up and mask things wrong. Another one for Chris. Another one for Chris. I'm telling you, he got a better, every time Nicole comes with a story, uh, Chris got a better one. He got a better one. She says um, her pet peeves are people smashing things in water, you know, uh, um, slow moving people and people splashing water on her. He said his pet peeves were uh, people not doing dishes in the sink. So they really shared a lot of information about each other. And she was, and he was talking about he only do laundry uh, once a month. What? Not them sheets. Not, well, I guess if you went. No, no, no. There's no good scenario. And when changing your sheets, a uh, once a month is good. And didn't they say they got dogs in their bed? Ugh. So when she was telling him, uh, you're going to have to overlook the fact that I don't like slow moving people and I don't like water splashed on me. He's like, oh, I got one better. You're going to have to overlook that I only change my sheets once a month. <laughs> another one for Chris. Another one for Chris. He's winning a three to zero, a three to zero. But Nicole was like, no worry. I'll take care of that. I'll take care of the laundry. I don't have a problem with that. And so then they're still going on because, you know, they still jousting who, who who, who's going to be the more benevolent one? Who's going to be the more benevolent one? So she starts talking about, you know, how she don't like slow moving people. And, you know, she likes activity and people. He says, oh, well, you know what? You have to get used to me because sometimes during the week I just come home, walk the dogs and I sit on the couch and um, I don't move the whole week. So I really don't do anything. I hope you don't think I'm lazy. And so finally, Gina, and so finally Nicole gets one in. Oh, no, no, no. I got a better one. I do the same thing. In fact, there's a butt print on my sofa, on my chair, because I just sit there sometimes all day long after I get home from work. Ding, 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 ding. One for Gina, a three for Chris. We gave Gina one three for Chris. <laughs> Gina finally scored on that one. She said, oh, no, I'm more lazy than you. I got a butt print. But these two here, they are funny. Of all the couples, they're the only ones who are trying to outdo each other and tell stories 
of where their past life was worse than the life they're looking forward to, where opposed of these other people, they're glamorizing their past lives with ex-girlfriends, what they look like, and all this other kind of stuff. And they're actually putting their mates down. So even though I said a three for Chris and one for uh, Nicole, they're both winning. They are both a winning. But that's it, y'all. Be sure to watch my other videos. I'll talk to you later. Bye.